Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It is, oh, there is some kind of light in there. Sorry, Thursday, the 11th of August. I'm just making this video here for Mecca Masjid. Mecca Masjid, right after Eid. We know what took place. Uh, whoever is called first the call enforcement and member of the board. What so called board? I'm gonna discuss the fiscal responsibilities and the embezzling of the funds and uh, fight over food and all that. All that. Nonsense. I think that they do have the right to make a bad name for our deal, snitch on each other, and call the FBI and tell them that uh, so and so is a terrorist. As for Allah and Amal Wakil, just for green card or just to be, they, they like to be enslaved, they like to bow before their masters and do exactly what they tell them. Because they are getting paid whatever it is the price that they're getting committing crimes now and I'm not saying that because again how much more I know how to live folk I know how to live free alhamdulillah we all want to Muhammad la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah comes anyway <laughs> Now, if if someone trying to to do something and he's doing or they're doing it for the well-being of others and being sincere, then why would you commit crimes and get the police, city, and the county in trouble? Why would you do some illegal stuff and break in and vandalize someone else's home or vehicle that is sheltered? Right? If you're really concerned about doing feasibility, why would you do that? Break in. Move the vehicle out of the property, which is not yours. This bar, a Muslim brothers, from performing the salah, fi baytullah, fi baytullah, and the people that you're using, they are illegal. <laughs> they are illegal. They don't have the credentials, they don't have the authority to commit crimes against anyone, whether citizen or not. Just being rats. Right? Why would you do that if you are a decent human being and claiming that you are sincere and you're doing for the well being of our deed? You don't feel civil in that. Why would you do that? And again, I'm not talking about who cares about RV or houses or cars or or even family. My son, my wife. Why would you do such thing and get everyone in trouble? Right now, again, I wanted that person to step up to the plate and bring my property that was stolen, ventilizing and cutting the gas line and doing all this, stealing the gas from the tank. All this, I'm, I'm, I'm over. I need the 
tools, the batteries, all my tools that I was working to fix this thing, parts that I took off of little bolts and screws and nuts and you know brackets and everything out of there. It's working. Not probably me, but my mechanic and right. Need to bring it back. You need to bring it back. And you need to to get your nose out of my life and my son. I don't want nothing. I don't want to hear nothing from no one. Okay? All of you, step back and let me handle my affairs and deal with the loss of my son, you know, in my own way. Right? And I mean it. Okay? I don't want to hear nothing from no one. الحمد لله قدر الله ما شاء فعل إن لله وإن إليه راجعون. However, the criminals that they commit crimes that they murdered my wife. Wow, I don't know about my wife, but my son. They have to answer. They have to answer. I don't care who they are. They have to answer. I want all of you, you, get your nose out of my business. And I mean it. And I mean it. For take care of your son, and his domestic violence, and the guy that was in Vegas with uh, whatever, and you got praise. Right? Drug dealing and snitching and throwing every, each other under the bus. Working for the FBI and committing crimes, thinking that you are allowed to, and showing that this is our deal. This is who our Muslims are. Shame on him. That's it. Bring my properties. And get your noses out of my business. Got it? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity.